this, I do this. As he said, I'm the preeminent negotiator, I don't know, in LA or the world, I don't know. Um, but he then can also say, but I didn't snitch on him. That's what he's doing. He's he spoke, spoke, he spoke about an alleged decision with uh, Dr. Drake. Could you shed any light on that just you? The, 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 I don't know, it was like 20 years, 30 years, I don't know. They're, they're just, I don't know about any of it because I've always heard it's all um, They say there are restraining orders. I haven't seen a restraining order. They say there's negative contacts. I haven't seen any negative contacts. Um, everything goes back, you know, in his mind, 20, 30 years. But that's how long, for sure, Sloan has been going after shit. He says 10 to 15, and then he says later, in 20 years, he's been going after And is that because of Sloan's relationship with Dr. Dre? He says Sloan doesn't like shit. Sloan wants Sloan thinks he's... Sloan doesn't like shit. You know, whether... According to him, they've tried to meet him at Luther's Park, which is a park in Compton. Uh, uh, wanted to fight him there and said he's been trying for a while to hook it up or get after him or get together. He says not to kill him. You know, you don't meet with gang members. You want to meet Luther's Park, there's Luther's Park High Roof. So when you talk about Luther's Park, you're saying, I'll meet you over here. And if you come there, and it's obviously not on the west side. Shit family from the west side, this is over on the other part of town. So if you say meet me over there, I don't think he's coming to the end. But after a lot of I mean, that's what the slow says. He says, I've been trying to get animosity for 20 years. It hasn't stopped. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilor. Appreciate it. At one point, he was saying that he won't be used to put shooting out in prison. What's your take on it? Why are they putting this guy in the stand? To, 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 to explain why you have Suge Knight or any celebrity locked up in solitary confinement without aid of anything else. You better do something other than dismiss it. You better put something up there because there's a lot of explaining to do after this testimony today. There, there really is. And it comes down to this, this impacts our whole justice system. This is the best you have. This is all that's required to, to lock someone up in solitary. I don't know why they did it, other than they need to present something. You gotta put something up there. At least they can say, hey, we did our best. That's all I can, that's all I can, that's no, I can't think of any other reason why you would put it up. Why would you put up a witness and take the fifth? Comes in and says, I'm responsible. I mean, it's pretty correct. It doesn't make any sense to me. You mentioned that sugar uh, feels much better now, so what is that? You look at the camera. One, yeah, one he, uh, he's actually getting his medicine. So if you get if you get treated for your ailments, it tends to work. So he's getting his medicine for diabetes, so he's going to move um, at least part-time to the hospital ward, so he's actually getting to see the doctors. So that's what he needed, was to see the doctors, and now he's getting the care that he needed. Plus, you know, Honestly, if you're sitting there and you're accused of a crime and you, you've seen what happened today, you have to feel much better about about your it, it, it just has to make you feel better because it's not really reasonable to think 12 people would be victims. That's just not reasonable. You know, they might have trouble getting out of here today. Plenty of reason. They got to prove a strong suspicion that there was a crime committed. Well, what we have is a victim okay, sitting there. That's all. Are you, are you going to call anybody? I can't talk that. <laughs> or just wait for me there either way. Last question, you're, you're feeling on the... Uh, or just wait for me back there either way. Stunning. Stunning. You, you, you have a long time gang member who attacks uh, an entertainment icon. Whether you like the news, you don't like the news, you like the man or not, you have to accept this phenomenon. He's attacked by a long-term gang member who is either high or born to get high and who's enraged. And two other, three other fellow gang members working for him attack him. He should be charged with murder because it's a provocative act murder. It's a felony murder for attacking someone, committing a felony and someone dies. And then you walk in and you not only don't charge him, hand him immunity so that he'll never suffer the consequences of what he did. Never. We know Shiv didn't start this because that's what the evidence is. You know Terry Carter went, Terry Carter 
whatever his contacts were with Bone or with Knob, they're all in the same place at the same time. And Terry Carter's dead. And now Bone will never, ever, 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 ever suffer any consequences for it. Even though you all heard what he did. And his only defense now is I didn't really have a gun, someone planted this in my car. That's where we're at today. Shocking. So that immunity then, it, it goes beyond then just the testimony. It's good. It, it's, it's, it's good. It, it, it's almost impossible to prosecute yeah. somebody after they've been granted immunity. I don't know the full extent what they negotiated, because I found out when you guys found out. I knew they were going to, I knew they had to immunize them at some point in time, but I don't know the full extent. But it's almost, I'm almost unheard of that someone's given immunity and then later on prosecuted. Gives them a nice cover, by the way. Well, let's take that the next step then. Why, in your opinion, is the 18th floor favor slowing overnight? You know, you guys know the history of the district attorney and Sue Knight and the death row records. I don't know what it is. I know this. It, uh, just offer immunity to your star witness. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who's, who's driving this prosecution. Um, it's a very strange prosecution. Why aren't the other three men who were there to start with? Because they don't want to admit that they went to a murder scene and then somebody... We're trying to get Kat to move. No, I'm not um, a lawyer. No, 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 I know, like I know. No, you're done. No yeah, we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy Chris is going to walk and testify because he'll be arrested and be charged with murder. And he says, uh, yeah, the guy called me and said, beat me over here. A tam, and then we attack this guy, and he's dead. The murder. Is he's done for the day. Yeah, he's done. He's done for the day. Have you found Nob? I just want to show up, so I was Did the morning session go well? Yeah, it went fantastic. It went very, very well for for Mr. Knight. Uh, they had to grant immunity to uh, their star witness, uh, which is pretty pretty shocking since the star witness also admitted that. Whether he was enraged, he was highly upset, he was so mad he thought he had to go smoke a blunt to calm down because he was so mad because um, apparently Shug's presence at the base camp enraged the executives or made the executives from the movie angry and Sloan was supposed to be in charge of keeping Shug or dealing with Shug and they shut down the entire production and said no one's moving until someone deals with Shug Knight. And so that was his job to deal with Shug Knight, and he went to deal with Shug Knight, and he brought two of the people with him from the base camp. They didn't go to 133 in Parmalee where it was, the next set was, they went directly to Times and waited for Shug Knight. And he admits he attacked him. He admits he proved it. 100%. And then they turn around, he has to be given immunity to testify. You know, you give immunity to the guilty people, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> so, I, I understand that this completely contradicts what he's, the statement he made to the police, right? I mean, it, it, it depends on what, it depends on which statement you're talking about. Because eventually, he didn't think he was being recorded. And that's why you saw the reaction from him today when I was asking him questions and he mentioned it obvious, obvious lies. And they say, you do know you were recorded. He goes, didn't know I was recorded. And then it hits him, and then they have to get immunity because he's not going along. He didn't know he was being recorded by the police. Just like when he was talking to the police, he was making all these statements. He didn't know there was a surveillance thing. So he has these great grandiose stories, and then when the reality hits him, he's done. And that's why we had to come up with something about that radio, because we know someone takes a black object from his hand and sticks it in their waistband. And he says, no one took anything from me. And now they're contending it was his walkie-talkie, which we know it can't be because his walkie-talkie was in the car with the radio. And he says they planted it. <laughs> that's, the, that's the case, they planted it. Have you seen the video on TMZ on December 2012 where Shig Knight runs over somebody? I, I've, I've seen every video there is. And what do you think about it? He didn't, I didn't stop. I didn't, I didn't see anyone run over anyone. Suge Knight's driving an SUV and he runs over a man. 
He was interviewed afterwards. Who? Who was interviewed and said that? I'm sorry? Who says that? No, Suge Knight was videotaped. TMZ, you, you, you're friendly with TMZ. They're here. There's a video on uh, December 2012. Suge Knight runs over somebody in a club. Aren't you the victim in the robbery case? Yeah. And and that's a problem? Christians? He's not handling the court, that, that particular case. I don't want to get into it. Okay, you didn't want to talk about it. Sorry. I, I didn't see it. What do you want me to talk you about? You said you just saw every video. So I was just curious if you saw the video. this case. Are you talking about some Yeah, but case? isn't that, doesn't that show what your client does? Running over people. Did someone get ran over? You can't hear. Okay. So did Sloan today say that he doesn't intend to put should? Yeah, so Sloan says he's not going to be responsible for putting anybody in jail. He says, I'm not in any way identifying Shed Knight as the person who ran me over, ran Terry Carter over. Flat out. Stunning. I have one last question. You said there's animosity for about 20 years. No, Why I said, that's what Sloan said.